Good morning! And when I say good morning, I really mean good morning because, bitch, it is 7.55 in the motherfucking morning. My face is beat. I'm fully dressed. What is going on? What's going on is that I work. Look at me. Look at me with a job. Up early. Face beat. Ready to go. Anyways, um, I wanted to do a video on Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 1 and 2 because you guys requested all these videos to be separate. So this video will be about Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 1 and 2. Um, so Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 1, I don't remember the full cast, um, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyways, we all get into the house and like everyone comes like fully dressed up. Like, as if we're, like, living in, you know, the actual Bad Girls Clubhouse again. Like, I think I went in, like, a fucking prom dress. Dead serious. I'm pretty sure I wore a prom dress when I walked in there. A tan dress with, like, a bunch of, like, beads on it or something. Anyway, so we go, and, like, everyone's thinking, like, we're gonna get fucked up. Like, this is gonna be, like, the most lit experience ever. Um, and it's, like, the minute we walk in... I don't know if it was that night or the very next morning, but we had a challenge. Was it that night or the day after? I don't know. Whatever the have you, we just, we are, we all were thinking it was going to be like more of like a party, like a party type event, or at least I thought it was going to be like that. Um, but it was like we had, we walked in, we had a couple drinks, we saw everyone else that was living in the house. I think Julie got voted fan favorite by some poll or some shit, where AJ got introduced as a guest, and then BAM! It's like we just went straight into a motherfucking challenge. And... I realized that the very first challenge, this is not for me. Like, I've always joked around about how I wanna... I don't even know if I was joking around, but... how I wanted to be on, like, the real world challenge. And it's not because of the challenges, because I'm not an athletic human being. Um, like, I have a personal trainer, but that's, like, the extent of me, like, working out. I just, like, I don't enjoy anything really physical. Like, running up a hill, um, sliding in some mud, whatever the case may have you, I'm just really not into the shit. Um, anytime I said I wanted to be on the Real World Challenge, it's because I really just want to piss people off. And I feel like everyone would be pissed off if I showed up with that motherfucker. But I know, and everyone knows, I wouldn't last more than probably 24 hours in that bitch. And is it really worth it getting all the way to another country on a long-ass flight to be sent home in 24 hours? Probably not. But still, definitely wanted to pop in and be like, BAM! What's up? What's good? I'm here. What you can do about it? Yeah, that's right. You're probably gonna send me home. Anyways. Just thought I'd throw that in there. So I realized like within five seconds of the first challenge that this this is gonna fucking suck. Um, we're getting paid better than Bad Girls Club but we're still not getting paid enough to do this fucking shit. Period. So whatever, I obviously don't win. Like, at all. And originally I was supposed to be put up for elimination on the first round but somehow, some way, by the grace of God, everyone switched up and put Natalie and Megan. It was supposed to be me against Natalie, and I know for sure I would have gone home because I don't know why. It's like I walked in and everyone was like, she's got to go. I'm like, fuck y'all. Fuck you. <laughs> so, <sighs> too early in the morning, man. I, be, I feel like I've been yawning in every video I'm posting because I'm filming them so early, and I'm so fucking tired. And I feel like I'm losing my voice. Is that my voice? Is that my voice? Does anyone know what movie that's from? Gabby will. Emperor's New Groove, when she turns into a cat or a squirrel, she turns into a squirrel and she's like, is that my voice? Never mind. Um, if you guys haven't seen that movie and you have kids, definitely watch that movie for, and even if you don't have kids, definitely watch that movie. It's so fucking funny. Um, so anyways, I don't end up being put up for elimination. I'm like, whoo, wasn't trying to go home without Gabby on the first week. So the competition goes on and like, really, I can't remember like the lineup of the competitions. I can't remember who won, who didn't win. Um, but I can tell you a little bit about the behind the scenes. Um, we went in there, me, Gabby, Julie, and Judy really close because we all got close before. But for some reason, Julie could like, she like had really severe anxiety when she was doing All-Star Battle. I get it because 
I think this was coming off like just recently off her season and I don't think pe I don't think a lot of people who did Bad Girls Club understood that they could edit you any way they want and America's going to perceive you any way they want. I don't think she necessarily like I think she was so caught up in her head about how she was going to be perceived on camera that it kind of fucked up her being there in the moment. So whatever. She had kind of a bit of a meltdown then she went back to her like badass Julie self because like that bitch can like murder people in the confessionals like I thought I was good at, at insulting people that bitch can literally like insult your ass so she had like maybe like a couple days where she's like I don't know if I want to be here I don't know if I want to do this and then she snapped the fuck out of it and went back to the Julie we all know and love um so I had them in the house that was pretty much it um everyone else was in different cliques like Paula was with Jen, um, I think that was, I think that was their click. Erica, I don't remember who Erica really clicked up with, I think she was just kind of a floater. Oh my god. I think she was just kind of like a floater. Um, Stassi was there, I don't really know who she was cool with, she was kind of just like the mom of the group, like when I got my period she gave me like a heating pad and like, so my cramps wouldn't hurt as bad. Um, Natalie was just like by herself and Flo was just there being fake with everybody like she was just like trying to fit in with every group possible um i get it she's trying to win the money so i think maybe after like the third competition when people like the people started getting less and less and less um the the heat was rising the temperature was turning up people were getting feisty people were getting mad at each other people were talking some shit um Flo fought with everybody. I remember the beginning of the downfall between her and Jen was like over like I think like a breakfast bagel or some shit. It was like over something really fucking stupid. But Flo was saying some disrespectful shit to Jen like about her being an ex stripper and so on and so forth. And it just kind of like escalated. They literally argued every probably at least once a day every day in the house until the very end. And they were the last two standing. So you know that that drama was unfold unfolding. So, um, Natalie fought Flo, and honestly, to this day, when I look back on their fight, I think they might have faked that. Like, I think they might have, like, had, like, some type of secret code where they were like, hey, I'm gonna start this bullshit with you, you're gonna start this bullshit with me, because when it came time to vote, <clears throat> Flo didn't vote for Natalie. So I'm like, y'all putting on for the camera because this shit don't make sense. How are you going to like try to rip each other's esophaguses out less than five hours ago and now you're voting to keep somebody else home? That doesn't make any sense. So for me, it seemed a little scripted because um, they didn't even actually ever put hands on each other. They were just going back and forth verbally. Then Amber and Natalie fought, which was fucking random because they were quote unquote besties. Um they fought and like Amber was standing on a chair and like screaming about like her BMW and I for sure thought she was acting. I was like, she's obviously joking. This this can't be like an actual thing. But they actually legitimately stopped talking. Like they're not friends anymore. They're not cool. So I was like, oh wow. Amber's just like, that's how she is when she's upset. Because I thought the bitch was acting. She was not acting. They really weren't friends after that. I didn't really... I don't think Amber lasted long, but I know that she wore like a onesie pajama set almost every day we were in the house, like every single day. And I was like, oh Amber, oh Amber. Me and her used to beef online all the time, but I met her in person when I moved out here in Cali and she's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to be beefing with her anymore. Um, who else got into it? Gabby got into it with Flo. And, like, Flo would have definitely probably beat the shit out of Gabby, but Gabby gives no fucks. Like, just like I'm not scared to get my ass beat, Gabby's also not scared to get her ass beat. So I was just standing there like, you better get her. If she hits you, better hit her back. Um, but, like, security was pretty much on in an all-star battle. Like, the minute people started yelling at each other, security was right there. Um, there was... So we thought, like, after challenges and stuff, we'd be able to get, like, fucked up and drink and have a good time. But, like, they... They, like, never... Okay, so I think the reason they took away the liquor was because of Judy. Because Judy was getting, like, sauced, like, every night. There was one challenge we did, and it was, like, fucking freezing out, raining. And when we got back, everyone wanted a drink. 
but like there was no liquor out and judy got on the floor literally like a three like a five-year-old kid who just got his like chocolate brownie taken away from him in kindergarten she was stamping her fucking feet wailing wilding out because there was no liquor and all of us are like you know like we don't like i was laughing because i was like this can't be this can't be real life like but this bitch was tripping like tripping so then they eventually bring down liquor but they're like monitoring each drink like they're pouring our drinks like It'd be like Malibu, Malibu and Coke and like this much Malibu. I'm like, come on, man. We're adults here. Judy might not be an adult, but we're adults here. Um, so that kind of sucks because we didn't drink as much as I thought we were going to drink. Because I thought we were going to be like ripping it up, tearing it up, like living our best lives. But we weren't. It was strictly like all competition. It was like every fucking day it was a new challenge. And I definitely, I was up for elimination multiple times. And every single time I thought I was going home and I never went home. I actually made it to top three. And I was like, literally never won a challenge. Never did anything physical that brought me to like the very end. I just got lucky and made it all the way to top three. And then I lost um, on the, the challenge right before the last one. And honestly... I was building my puzzle wrong on that challenge and production didn't let me know that I was building it the wrong way. They let me know, like, maybe, so Flo was behind me. It was me and Jen neck to neck and Flo was behind me because the bitch is a smoker, fucking drinker, whatever, and she like couldn't fucking breathe up the mountain. So <clears throat> I, it was basically going to be me and Jen in the end. But production didn't let me know that I was building my fucking puzzle wrong on the very last challenge. And then they let Flo come, catch up, and then they told me. So by the time I started rebuilding, there was no way I was going to catch up to where Flo and Jen were at. So they ended up being top two, which I guess made more sense for a storyline purpose for a show because they were beefing all season. And it's just like me, I, I, come, I come through in the cut, never won a challenge, didn't really have beef with anyone at the time, and I just like win the shit. That would have been great for me. An extra hundred thousand dollars would have been nice, but for for reality TV purposes, I guess the story didn't really make any sense. But it still sucks. Fuck y'all. Um, so, anyways, I had to like I lost, and then they made me sit at the top of the mountain and watch them like f battle it out to see whoever was gonna win. And <clears throat> Jed ends up winning. Winning. And Flo has a meltdown. Like, I've never seen a human being have a meltdown before. So, right after the challenge, we were supposed to go back to the mansion, pack the rest of our shit, and go back to our hotels because the show is done. We are done. We are out of here. See you fucking later. Mind you, Gabby got eliminated the challenge before, but she was waiting for me in the hotel because we were going to fly home together. So, the sun was up when the last challenge finished. By the time we were allowed to get in, back into the mansion, the sun was very much down. It was late. We were starving. We were bitching. Flo had, like, basically she was threatening production that she was going to kill herself. And they were in there, like, trying to basically talk her off a ledge because she just needed the money so bad. Well, guess what? News flash, bitch. We all needed the fucking money. Ain't nobody having a meltdown like that ever in life. And all throughout the challenge, like, you knew that she had fucking issues. And for me, one, I don't know how she passed the psych test because every show that you go on, you have to retake the psych test. It's like mandatory. Um, so one, I don't know how she repassed the psych test. Two, every other challenge, she would get injured and she would go to the hospital and she'd like try to get some type of pill. Like there was one time where, I don't know if you guys remember where she was limping, <clears throat> her ankle quote-unquote was sprained so she went she got like Percocets or something and then all of a sudden in the elimination round she's beefing with Natalie again and her ankle is like completely fine she's just walking like straight I'm like bitch did you just fake that injury for some Percocets so for me I was like how is like no one on the production side of things noticing this because we all are noticing it and we're all talking about it so like you guys can hear us we have our mics on you know what we're saying so you're probably well aware of what we're witnessing why is she still here she obviously needs help 
Like, and this is not just help in the sense where she, I'm talking shit, she needs a therapist. This girl has severe fucking problems. She needs deep, deep rooted, like she needs a psychologist to help her. She should not be filming a reality TV show, let alone a reality TV show where $100,000 is on the line. Because clearly, at the end of the competition, she couldn't handle the fact that the competition was over and she did not win. Listen, I didn't win, Gabby didn't win, Natalie didn't win, so many people didn't win. Ain't nobody in the mansion about to jump off the fucking staircase. It's, it just didn't happen because we all took the psych exam and we fucking passed. But we passed because we aren't fucking psychos. Flo is like a real life psychopath. Like, and I'm not just saying this because I'm talking shit. Like, this bitch has problems. I live with her. I witnessed it. She's literally batshit, 110% motherfucking off her rocker. Like, off her rocker. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's drugs. I don't know if it's whatever. I don't know what this chick is going through in her personal life. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to dog it out. I'm not going to like talk mad shit. But it's evident when we were living in the house that she need she should have left probably within the first week because her erratic behavior it didn't take long for it to kick in at all. At all. So sh she should have gone home, but she didn't. So like she had like a fucking meltdown. We couldn't get into the house, so finally they calmed her down, they bring her to the hotel, we can get our stuff, we go back to the hotel, and she's like two rooms down from me at the hotel. So like a good person, I knock on the door, I'm like, are you okay? And she's like fucking weeping, like hysterically crying. Mind you, I cried when I didn't win the money too, like, it's a hundred fucking thousand dollars, I get it, I get it girl. That shit stung, stung, hurt that heart of ours, but like. That was, that shit ended hours ago. At some point you just gotta be like, oh, all right, it's, an, it's a loss. Like, I didn't win this shit. Bitch was weeping. And this is hours, hours after the competition was over. And maybe like an hour or so after we got to the hotel. And I just said, girl, it's gonna be all right. You know, she's like crying, crying, whatever. I go back in my room, me and Gabby are kicking it. We're getting ready to leave for our flight. Fly home, boom. Bad Girls Club All Star Battle is a wrap. Then we have the reunion, okay? I don't really remember much about the reunion except that Jen was pregnant and like her and Flo were still going at it. I'm like, she's pregnant, just leave her alone. The competition is already over. You didn't win the $100,000, let's let it go. And then Jen's friend, like, uh, Jen's sister maybe, or her friend, I'm not quite sure, came in and was, like, about to fight. I don't know if she did fight Flo or she was about to fight Flo because Jen obviously isn't going to put her or her baby at risk for no bitch on the all-star battle reunion stage. So I know if I was pregnant, none of y'all bitches are worth it. But on the final challenge, um, going up the hill, Jen was, like, really emotional and crying and she wasn't telling any of us why she was crying but it made sense now I'm like oh she like really needed that money because she had a baby coming so it all kind of worked out the way it was supposed to because Jen needed the money she had a newborn um would I still like the hundred thousand yeah am I happy out of all the people Jen got it for sure I mean I would have been happy if Gabby got it because then we could have split it but it's fine <laughs> congratulations to you Jen um, and All Star Battle 2, I don't really have much to say. I went, um, I wasn't feeling anybody on the cast except for Camilla. Um, I remember we did the first challenge and we were standing on this, like, this, I burp every video, I swear. It's only, I don't burp in real life, I only burp when I'm filming. Maybe it's because I'm talking for so long. In like a one fast, vid whatever, doesn't matter. So we were standing, like, on this, like, po like, board above water and, like, each team had to like push the other team into the water and I remember I just blow, blow dried my hair it was like a fresh blow dry and our team lost obviously and I remember being in the water and being like I'm not fucking I don't want to do this again Gabby's not here this shit ain't fun I'm fucking good because Gabby was either pregnant at the time or was about to have her baby I can't remember so Basically, they put me up to elimination. I'm like arguing, trying to like save my spot, even though deep down I'm like, yeah, put me up for elimination. I don't care. So the next day, production comes up to me. And they're like, we need you to like walk around and like beg to stay. 
And I literally looked at them and I said, I'm not doing that. If this was like All-Star Battle 1, I might have done it. All-Star Battle 2, I'm absolutely, I don't give a fuck about being here. I don't care. So I slept in, slept like a baby, slept by the pool. I didn't beg anybody to save me or keep me or any of that bullshit. I was like, just put me up, I'm ready to go. So I ended up getting sent home, cool, I'm out. Didn't even go to the reunion. Dead serious with you. That show was like, I literally showed up for like a one week paycheck and I was like, peace out. Um, I just don't like competition shows. If it was like a dating competition show where it's like not challenges like that, cool. <sighs> that sounds fun but like physical stuff where like my hair is getting fucked up I can't be like drinking mimosas by the pool like I'm just not into it so Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle I don't have much to say on the second one I didn't even go to the reunion so it's like don't know what to tell y'all but after that right before All-Star Battle 2 me and Gabby actually got to do Twinstant Replay where we recap the moments of Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle 1 and that was fun. We flew to LA for like two days. Um, the hair and makeup artists that they hired were absolute trash so we look like shit on camera. I wish I brought my own crew but it's fine. You live and you learn. Um, but that was easy. Like usually they have like the monitors up where you, if you're hosting you have to read the monitor but me and Gabby freelanced that entire thing and she announced that she was pregnant so that was like a cute little big deal um, and she got to do it with like Bad Girls Club first because nobody knew she was pregnant. That was like her, her big, big announcement. Anywho, um, that's pretty much that. Um, I'll do Bad Girls Club 13 next because um, there's like so much to talk about on that show. So that'll be my next Bad Girls Club video and then we can be done talking about Bad Girls Club forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And then no one needs to ask me anything ever again. <laughs> Leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, XXO Danielle, and Swallow It Podcast. Don't forget to download my podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or Spotify. Buy my book on Amazon, Don't Be That Bitch. And, you know, have a great fucking day. Because my day has just started. I just realized my lights aren't on my, um, on my fucking curtains. And I hate the way that looks, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Anyways, I love y'all. Bye.